Hello everyone. This is my fourth video on X-rays in pediatrics. Today I am going to show you some of the chest X-ray with the abnormal radiological findings in the lung field. I have already uploaded the first part on how to read the chest X-ray and in second and third part I have already shown some of the abnormal X-ray of the heart, diaphragm, pleura and the mediastinum. Now look at this x-ray. This x-ray is of a preterm newborn who was having the all the signs symptoms of respiratory distress. And in this x-ray, when you see the lung field, it is completely white out. You are not able to differentiate the where is the left and right heart border. So the terminology we use for this type of x-ray is white out appearance of the lung field and obscuration of the cardiac shadow even. And another terminology whenever there is a obscuration of the cardiac border and you are not able to differentiate where is the um, impression of the aorta, pulmonary and right atrium, left ventricle. In this, we generally use the terminology still hold sign. So, or we can say indirectly whenever there is any intrathoracic lesion or any lesion in the lung field or mediastinum which touches the border of heart, aorta and also even the diaphragm, then this border is obliterated, not able to differentiate between these border and the lesion. And terminology we use for this is silhot sign. And the diagnosis for this x-ray, this is the abnormal radiological finding, white out appearance of the lung field and obscuration of the cardiac border. As I said in the history part that the baby was preterm having the sign symptom of respiratory distress and this characteristic lung finding, this is the characteristically seen in a case of severe respiratory distress syndrome. What are the other radiological findings in the respiratory distress syndrome in a preterm newborn? So uh, according to the chest x-ray finding also we can categorize into mild, moderate and severe. So whenever there is a x-ray which is showing the reticulogranular pattern as in this x-ray when you see the lung field there is a, some reticular and granular opacities are present throughout the both the lung fields. So this is seen in the mild respiratory distress syndrome. Now when the patient is having moderate respiratory distress syndrome and this is the lung finding, here you can see the bil in bilateral lung field, there is a air bronchogram. Opacity is there and air bronchogram is visible. You can see the bronchus in the opacity. So this is the moderate RDS according to the radiological finding. When the patient is having complete whiteout, when nothing is visible, we label as a severe respiratory distress syndrome. You are not able to differentiate the heart border and from the lung. So, complete whiteout appearance in x-ray will suggest that patient is having severe RDS. So, clinically also by Silverman-Anderson score, we have to differentiate the is it the mild, moderate or severe RDS and according to the radiological findings also, we have to differentiate is it the mild, moderate and severe RDS. Now the x-ray of a preterm newborn with the all the signs symptoms of respiratory distress and here you can see in both the lung field, there is a opacity is present with air bronchogram. So bilateral air bronchogram is present here and we label as a moderate respiratory distress syndrome. Now see in this x-ray, here is a opacity is present. This is the x-ray of an infant and having the sign symptoms of respiratory distress and also having the fever and cough and in the 
right lower zone you can see the opacity with the air bronchogram so this is seen in the consolidation and in this lung field when you will calculate the uh, ribs it is expanded beyond the seventh rib so we label as a hyper inflated lung field so this infant was having the acute bronchiolitis with right lower zone consolidation now in this x-ray when you see very closely the trachea is shifted toward the right side and opacity is present here in the right lower and the middle zone so whenever there is a trachea shifted toward the opacity we have to suspect either it is collapse or fibrosis or atelectasis whenever it is shifted toward the opposite side we have to suspect pleural disorder whenever it is present in the central position we have to think that it is consolidation so this part this opacity which is present in the perihilar zone and in the lower right lung it is non homogeneous this opacity is non homogeneous opacity and this patient was having the fibrosis of right lung so whenever trachea is shifted toward the same side of the opacity if the opacity is homogeneous we think that it is collapse we have to confirm all the radiological finding whenever you are having some doubts we can confirm by the ct thorax also and this opacity is non homogeneous so it is most likely fibrosis and whenever it is homogeneous we will think it is collapse now in this x ray when you see the trachea trachea in the central position and here bilateral lung field there is a opacity is present this child was around uh, 8 to 10 years old and having the bilateral lung field opacity with the air bronchogram or we can say bilateral ground glass infiltration is present in this x ray this child was having the acute respiratory distress syndrome ards and patient was suffering from the viral infection now in this x ray you can see the opacity is present in the right upper and middle zone and here also in the right lower zone this opacity with the air bronchogram is present and even in the left lung field left lower zone there is a opacity is present so we can say multiple opacities with the air bronchogram are present in the both the lung fields similarly in this x ray also when you see trachea in the central position and the opacity is present in the right upper and middle part and here also in throughout the left lung field so diagnosis for these two x ray will be bilateral progressive low bar consolidation now see in this x ray it is also very characteristic x ray and here you can see the this is the hyalur opacity and here are multiple opacities are present these are the nodular opacity which is present in both the lung field so you can see the outline of the opacity multiple opacities so multiple diffuse nodular opacities in the bilateral lung field with right perihilar opacity also hyalur and perihilar opacity so whenever the multiple opacities are present if the size is less than 3 mm we label as a miliary shadow whenever size is 4 mm or more than this we label as a nodular opacities and the differential diagnosis for this x ray will be either it may be because of the reactivation tuberculosis or maybe patient is having some immunodeficiency and developing the fungal infection example aspergillosis or such kind of opacity can be seen due to 
metastasis and also in the pulmonary hemosiderosis, amyloidosis, sarcoidosis. So whenever such kind of opacity you find, you have to differentiate by other clinical and the uh, serum investigations. In this x-ray, you can see the opacity is present in the hilar area in both the lung field. In the left hilar region, there is a opacity and in the right hilar region. It is because of the bilateral hilar lymphadenopathy. Whenever a patient is having hilar lymphadenopathy, opacity is present in the hilar area. You have to differentiate either it may be because of tuberculosis, sarcoidosis, fungal infection or malignancy. Hilar lymphadenopathy is characteristically seen in all these type of the infections and malignancy. This is another x-ray of a patient who was having the opacity in the hilar area and also you can see opacity is present in the right upper zone just lateral to the trachea. So this is because of the paratracheal lymphadenopathy. So patient is having the hilar lymphadenopathy with the perihilar consolidation and even in both the lung field you can see the changes of fibrosis is also present. Here you can see the peribronchial fibrosis and also you can see the dilated bronchioles are there. So patient was suffering from pulmonary tuberculosis with changes of bronchiectasis and this opacity is because of paratracheal lymphadenopathy and this is the hilar lymphadenopathy with perihilar consolidation. So patient was having progressive pulmonary complex with bronchiectasis. In this x-ray you can see the opacity is present in the left upper zone. This is a, a homogeneous opacity in left upper part and here is the compensatory emphysema. So the lung is inflated and increased bronchovascular markings are there. Trachea is present in the central position. So for this x-ray we will make the diagnosis upper left upper lobe consolidation and another thing in this x-ray you are not able to differentiate the left heart border left upper heart border from the lung field. So silhouette sign whenever there is a obscuration of the heart border because of any intrathoracic lesion. Now in this x-ray you can see the multiple opacities are present in the both the lung field with air bronchogram. So the diagnosis will be bilateral consolidation for this x-ray. In this x-ray in subcutaneous tissue you can see the air is present in the subcutaneous tissue of the chest wall, neck area and also here you can see the air is present in subcutaneous tissue. Here also air is present. So the diagnosis will be subcutaneous emphysema. Also you can see the multiple opacities are present in the bilateral lung fields. So the patient was having the bronchopneumonia with subcutaneous emphysema. Multiple heterogeneous opacities are present in both the lung field. Now in this x-ray. When you will trace the trachea, you can see this is the foreign body which is present in the right bronchus. So the diagnosis for this x-ray is foreign body in right bronchus. This is the x-ray of a uh, 4 years old male child. So this is the first x-ray when the patient was admitted. You can see the right upper lobe opacity with air bronchogram so patient was having the right upper lobe consolidation and after seven days of the antibiotic you can see the uh, opacity is resolved and the diagnosis for this is right upper lobe consolidation so this is all about the chest x-ray with the abnormal radiological findings in the lung fields thank you so much